You... Howdy, fuckers. <laughs> What's good with it? Here we are. Howdy. Oh, I can put my I can put my mic actually by my head. Well, why don't I do that? Listen, you mark them not safe for work. We might as well take advantage of the opportunity. That's true. I'm trying to remember why I was doing that. Someone was telling me, Finn, you should mark these as not safe for work. And I was like, that's a good idea. Because of the language. Yeah, that's probably true. Oh, wait, that's why is it like the loudest sound ever when I go like this? No. Fantastic. All according to plan. All right. Let us, uh, let us begin. I was like, man, it feels like we're going to war. And then I was like, oh, fuck, we are. Mm. <laughs> what could that be? That sounds piratey. Hmm, wonder why that could be too. If you will. All right, so we've got the war crimes and piratey. Where's the celebrity sound? <laughs> and, and the like otherworldly research sound. We do yeah. need Vogue music. Please. The otherworldly I research sound like is implied. A long time ago. I had no <laughs> idea what was happening this season besides war e stuff. But that, that, that was the surprise thing I commissioned. I got live musicians to record that. Oh. Um, so that is featuring, I should have know who it's featuring, but featuring someone from Fiverr on cello, someone from Fiverr on live drums, and someone from Fiverr on flute. And I was very happy with how it turned out. <laughs> Were, were any and of the featuring fighter... you on gun? You put that bullpup revolver away. <laughs> Why? <laughs> so I am in there. I'm on the uh, on this on this. Why one. was it not featuring Davey five hundred four on bass? Zero stars. Okay, so uh, we, we are here. It has been three years, not since our last session, but since our characters were last in D and D proper. We got uh, we got everyone's summaries of what happened during that time skip and everyone's individual sessions. YouTube people, if you haven't seen those, watch those before this. If you want uh, the enrichment of, of knowing what, what the fuckers have done. Um, Please watch Fox. I, I need the satisfaction. <laughs> so the something views. that did happen that we didn't mention, I think, in most of the mini sessions is people's modes of transport. So Nissa is easy. You're still with Vasha. Yeah. Funk, we showed that picture of the ship. The the official design. <laughs> yes, the official design. Uh Jajin, we have a new ship for you. I mean, you, you know this, but I'm right. pulling it up. Jajin, you you've won know. a new ship. <laughs> you bought the uh what we have listed as the fighter ship. This is the first one that Chris designed. And I would show it if it were on my screen. One sec. The art of Nissa is not small enough to work as a background image. Yeah. No, 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 on, on, damn it, Joe, why'd you stop? On my screen, it was perfectly set up so that I was her head. <laughs> anyway, here's, uh, here's Jajin's ship. It's got guns, fittingly. I really like the design of this. This is my favorite yeah. of, uh, of Chris's ship designs. It's also got a heart bed for mm -hmm. Johnny. And uh, it's got some chairs that slide. Yeah. It's got forklifts. Got forklifts. Got some gliders in it, which is pretty cool. But yeah, it's a, a, a cool ship and now Jajin has it. Cordelia, what ship do you have? You know, I was just this whole time assuming that I was just rocking in like her shuttle. But if that was with Vasha, then I guess she's just been as she arrived uh, to the parlor trick god, uh, just in space Uber. So <laughs> honestly, I whichever you could, way you want to do it, I yeah, mean, we can take it either way. I think it would be fine to have Cordelia just have her shuttle, and Vasha be one shuttle less. What do you think about that, Joe? I think that's fine. 
Okay, cool. So, and then you hitchhike in your shuttle in ships that have astral drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. you still got like your room and stuff. You're just mm. like in a mobile home. Yeah, correct. Okay, cool. Aren't all ships mobile homes? Maybe. <laughs> it's not a mobile house. It's a mobile home. So last time we la- we left you all, you all had been summoned by Nissa via the parlor trick god uh, to go rescue Caption, who Caption, Captain who had, been re- who had been not rescued. Holy shit! Who had been kidnapped? <laughs> rescued from Nissa's horrible <laughs> in- rescued. <laughs> yeah, this is so, a rescue mission. Please do not resist. Yeah, so Captain had been kidnapped, uh, and he was on his way to Vathanath. And you all had some, some small, but very exciting, very cinematic adventure that will remain off screen forever, rescuing him. Uh, if anyone has any flavor they want to throw into that. No. What is happening? No yes. Yeah, there's a bizarre It's not like Joe's computer was taken off. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, so... Uh, so Captain's captured by the Black Scale Pirates, who are an important uh, force that were, were not really mentioned in the mini sessions. So you all at some point, I, I think not right now, but the plan eventually is for you all minus Jajin to become affiliated with the Haven Pirates. And they are, the Haven Pirates are, and all, we're talking all, to the audience and you all, you all know. I'll this. join them one of these days. <laughs> Funk is already, is already with them. But they are a new nation composed of the people who are originally pirates and still are from Halif, um, which is a, a planet in the Unclaimed Lands. And a Haven is the city. Uh, composed with, or in conjunction with the gnomes that have now settled on Haven. And all of them are under the leadership of the pirate queen herself. And then and so the Haven pirates are regulated. They're trying to become a respectable nation. They are still pirates, but they don't like, they don't like fuck up the good people. They're the pirates who don't do anything. Uh, well, they, they, do, they do things, but they don't like, <laughs> for example, they don't, um, they have not been pirating from the USA, which is gonna be important See, for Jade and the You took that literally, meanwhile, mm-hmm. All of our millions veggie of fans tales. know that to be yeah, Veggie Tales yeah. reference. What? <laughs> the pirates you don't do anything are from Veggie Tales. Oh, oh. You don't you're, know Veggie Tales lore. Get your veggie Christian tales. media out of here. Look, <laughs> Veggie Tales is the only Christian propaganda I stand. It's good. Uh, I can't. I can't deal with Veggie Tales after I saw that Lord of the Rings thing. Lord of the oh, Beans is good. How <laughs> dare you insult Lord <laughs> so of the Beans? Bad. I love it's, that movie. <laughs> anyway, it's called phlegm because that's the sound his throat makes. Captain was captured by the black scale pirates, who are the kind of rival, big mean pirates uh, to the Haven pirates. They are unregulated. They're Our under rival school. Yeah, they're under the um, the leadership of Black Scale himself, who is a, a dragonborn. And right now, now that the war has started, the USSW, the US. Solon War. They are under the, uh, they are privateering for the Empire. So that makes them the enemies for, for the moment. So oh, John, all... John, I think there might be some crazy audio feedback from your side. Uh... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yep, okay. <laughs> John has been silenced. <laughs> Goodbye. Finally. <laughs> so he was being taken to Vathanath, which is the Look, whoa, one of my windows. <laughs> I really don't know what you, one of your hate, windows did. You hate when your windows do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, Vathanath is the planet where someone who I forgot to pull up, who is a, you all find out, is like a exotic animal collector lives. Do you remember her name, Chris? I can look her up real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna look uh, her up too. Um, you can probably control F CEO. She's one of the few CEOs in the dock. Why yeah. have her? Um, yeah, there's only eight instances of Athanath in the dock. Yeah, uh, uh, 
Claudia Quertig, it seems. I'll uh, put her image on the screen. Claudia. I don't know if you all have any particular run in with her, um, but this is this is what she looks like. <clears throat> Oh, I did mean to put her down that I like, I can't tell if I want to be like, yeah, I respect having all of these friends as pets or if I'm like, no, oh. they belong in a zoo slash natural habitat. It's a little different when the, the friend she wants as a pet is a sentient person. Yeah, that that's not okay. Sort of... <laughs> yeah. So do, do you all encounter her on your mission? This is just vague flavoring. It, it can be up to you all. I encounter and kill her with ease. No, you do not. <laughs> I, I I give her, uh, uh, I debate her with facts and logic. <laughs> no, I was gonna <laughs> say oh, that. Capturing, Fuck. Capturing sentient human beings is wrong, and extend that argument to other species that are capable of thought. thought all right, leaders. So, she says she uh, doesn't care and she dabs. <laughs> Typical lib. But Funk has drip. So does the dab even mm. affect him? I burst out my like light jacket, which is specifically <laughs> the drip jacket. That's true. Yeah, she's your first victim of the light jacket. <laughs> she's not killed, but she's like, whoa, that's bright. And then she releases Captain and you all get Captain back. <laughs> Yeehaw. I um, high five Captain if that is something Captain is will allow me to do. Yes, yes, he will allow you to do that. Excellent. And he uh he goes back onto your ship, Nissa, also known as Basha, also known as Basha's body, and uh <laughs> goes into uh one of the pools. He's gl glad to be back. So you, you all are are speeding away from Bath and Nath. You have gotten out of the detection range of whoever was following you, likely the Black Scale Pirates. And it's the first time you all have really like seen each other for three years besides Cordelia and Nyssa. Um, I mean, like you did just have uh, an iconic mini adventure together that is the best- That definitely existed that. and that we all know what it was and it <laughs> yes. strengthened our bonds. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I was talking about the, cap the captain rescue, but yes, also that, also the iconic mini adventure that happened with Cordelia and Nyssa. Um, but anyway, so this is the first time all four of you are, uh, I guess, m many more, but the four originals um, unrelated to Vampire Diaries. This is the first time you all have been able to just like hang out for a little bit in travel. Like you all traveled separately to Vathanath to get there, and then you were all in the, the midst of the mission while it was happening, but now Captain is safe. You all are not being chased and you're flying through space. I assume you all are in your different ships, um, like talking over the intercom. So I wanna know how, who like proposes the idea of a, a, a merger, a, a rejoin? Um, I think Nissa would. Hey guys, how, how's it been going? So I think Nissa would good. see. Like, I, I don't wait for them to finish. <laughs> I'm like, Where's the mute the, button? The pirate has been pretty cool. Is hey, that you, right? You guys ever, you guys ever thought about the, a little piracy? Really? How did? What did you do to get in this book? By the way. Oh yeah, so this is the first oh, time oh. you've mentioned that you have the uh, Important Figures book as well. Oh, you mean I pull out and like fan through the pages to the picture of me <laughs> that's like I've signed? You know <laughs> this? Like uh, you're oh, noted. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a list of movers and shakers and I've been um, moving a little and shaking a lot. Um, Nissa kind of head flipped through it and she was like, Oh, well, um, you know, it just appeared on my bed, but uh, you know, there's some there's some interesting stuff. The the turncoat pirates, I hadn't even heard of them, but you know, I've been 
off doing my own thing. Too good for piracy, I see. No, <laughs> I had to learn to cook. <laughs> Fair enough. I, I assume that a, a ship needs a chef. Although I, I find it hard to believe that Fonk would be running a crew without one. I, I imagine that you'd probably be well. Uh, oh, yeah, chef. Hey, 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 Carl and, and Gunner. C- come in. Cordelia wants to talk to you. Oh, I, 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 uh, okay. So, uh, you, you've summoned in here. I'll be Gunner. You be Carl. Okay, Chris. <laughs> I've got Gunner's, uh, I've got Gunner's description pulled up here. Let me last minute research. I have to think of a voice for Carl. <laughs> Maybe it's like Link where you just get awesome. text and you assume that awesome. it has a voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just, oh, what do you mean voice for Carl? Carl is like the perfect yeah. for like default voice. What voice? You know, the like the one you do like when you have to just make a voice and you're not trying to make something stupid. Yes. <laughs> that voice. Not even a chance. Not quite, but you know, Carl can be that too if you want. <laughs> that voice? You know, kept in, in just, just listen to your heart, Chris. Okay. So, uh, <laughs> G- G- oh, kind of walks heart. into the frame of the Zoom call. <laughs> He's a uh, he's a kind of large orc man, and the time of day is it's getting it's getting close to uh, to dinner time, and so he's been cooking something. And he he holds it up, and it's uh, it's his signature food, a waffle named after his own last name. And he uh, he waves to the camera. He- hello, th- thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Carl just sets his pizza on top of it. <gasps> and Gunner is a uh, 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 Seems you've got a little two bit of worlds fighting. combined. <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is the Carl first Carl. time the two of you have have collaborated. <laughs> I, for some reason, now I'm thinking about chicken and waffles. <laughs> now you make me. That's hungry. what I was thinking too. <laughs> Fong, and, I don't know that. I, I I hate to be the one to tell you this. I'm not sure that pizza waffle is really the uh, <clears throat> the maneuver that the galaxy needs. Maybe, I could be wrong. I just a just a listen. Prediction here. Oh, yes, <laughs> you you haters uh, have been <laughs> slacking on Carl, but he's he's gonna revolutionize the culinary world. I've only just met Carl. What do you mean I'm slacking on him? You people aren't acknowledging the the virtues of pizza. <laughs> and Gunner says, "Damn right!" And he uh, he takes a big bite of the of the waffle and the pizza and just like dies. You know, the opposite. The and then he then he runs off. Carl can tell that Fonk wants a slice of pizza. They've been together long enough that he knows. So he takes a slice of pizza and hands it to Fonk. Hell yeah! That's how, that's how you know you got a good bond with the crew. <laughs> Was the waffle just to soak up the oil? I don't understand. <laughs> no, the waffle was a separate thing. We just I discovered see. a potential new avenue of, of culinary arts. I see. Yeah, you, you all can see that innovation is strong on Funk's ship. He's really wheeling and dealing in the, in the land of ideas. Why don't I become friends with you? Fantastic question. I thought the same thing. <laughs> I was so wondering that myself. <laughs> so so far, you all have invented a new kind of food called the pizza waffle, but no one is mentioned planning a prison break or getting. It's a plan a prison break when you can sell pizza waffles for ten. We were talking about the book, but then Cordelia was curious about my f- my like food on board. <laughs> All I was saying was, Nissa, you were cooking and he probably needs a chef. I didn't say introduce me to the whole back staff. Listen, you, you asked about, you said like Did you it? probably need like, like like some culinary on board. So I it wanted to show you that, listen, pirates live the life. We've got chefs on board. It's not. All I know. Go, join, join the Navy today. <laughs> Will there be grog and limes? 
Uh, Bro, do you want me to call like the five different alchemists that make alcohol that I've got? <laughs> no, that was a joke, I believe. I assume I you don't want I scurvy. <laughs> is uh, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but is Albie Donnelly? How do you say her name, Chris? Oh, the A O I B H E. Yeah. Um, it, I, 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 it's one of those Scottish names that doesn't sound like yeah. it should. I don't want to. I don't want to say the wrong one. I'm going to look at the pronunciation. Here we go. Here we go. Like so this. This is a. Uh, this is a, a pixie who is Funk's uh, girlfriend, and I want to know if she is Ava. Um, Ava. Ava. <clears throat> Classic. All right. Is Ava on your ship, or is she just? Is she back at Haven? Oh, she's probably back on Haven. All right, yeah, that makes sense. She's got her own, she's got her own stuff to do. But anyway, you you, you all know of her now, so so you you know that that Fong has been paired up at least tentatively. You do not know someone who is currently in the background of Nissa's feed, who is a. Uh, let me look up what she looks like. Oh, we don't know what she looks like because she's not in the dock. We do know what she looks like. We we have a picture. She's just not in the dog. Oh, you're right. We do have a picture. She's got blonde hair. I remember that. She's got she boobs. Looks, she looks anime esque. She's got a kind of circular kind of deal. Nice. You all can't identify her species immediately, but she's kind of lounging in the background on like maybe a, a chair in a in Nissa's frame. Starting to prove yourself, I see. Oh. Uh, <laughs> We have a few here. Um, currently, you know, Safa is driving the ship, and uh, well, we're we're trying to uh, get things going. And uh, I don't know. Are are we trying to? Uh, what what are we trying to do now in the future? Say, well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I I already was not fond of the black scale pirates. It must be said, but now I want I want a little bit of revenge, and and you know, JJ, you, you know that book? That book? Uh, have you uh read through it at all? A little bit, skimmed through it a bit. Uh, have you read the the page about the author? Yeah, he's currently in prison, right? I yeah. like the cut of his jib. Yeah, you know who else is in that prison? One one of Black Scale's captains. If you catch my drift. Ooh. You want to go in there and execute him yourself? I mean, I want I, I want to deliver a message to Black Scale and you know, what's what what speaks louder than a dead dwarf? <laughs> question mark? Is this is, is this dwarf? Not knowing or Cody not knowing, he's he's a, a dwarf. Dead dwarf. So, yes. so here is here is uh, Gil, the author of the, uh, or at least the writer of the important figures book, and here is Captain Eriberto Conte, who is a uh, one of the Black Scale pirates. He's captain of the Poco pirates. Yeah, many. You wouldn't have to know when he's supposed to be being released, do you? If at all. Arbitrary time that might be in the near future. <laughs> A yeah. Classic. It's uh it's not written in the doc when it is, so it's not something you all know unless you have some other reason to. But the, the reason theoretically he would be being released is because the Black Scale Pirates are now working for the Empire and this is yeah. an Imperial prison. Yeah, I was wondering, like, in character, if Font had learned any information about that. I mean, has Fonk learned any information about that? Uh, would you have done some research before this moment on it? I, I suppose you would have, right? Yeah, I mean, I guess I would have... As a part of my ongoing network of information, seeing if I could be like, oh, hey, I... I, I didn't know there was a black scale guy there. 
I wonder if we can if we can fuck with them somehow. Roll uh I so I guess the way you would be getting this information would be through your network, right? So you would be some informant on in the um city of brass. Uh m- makes sense to me. All right, roll luck. All righty. A phone is a good surface. That is a <laughs> 16. Nice. Uh, there are rumors, although they're just rumors right now, that he's going to be released within the month. You know, I've, I've heard from a, a little birdie, it must be said, that there's some rumblings that it's he's got about a month left, give or take. That little birdie is Jason. <laughs> I, I thought it was a coincidence that one of my information brokers was also named Jason and had a lot of movie star news. That was a huh. Like we could catch him right after he gets released instead of having to break into this place. Yeah, but I want to help that frog man. Uh, but I mean, all right. The so frog I'm, man sounds like a hack if you ask me. So the frog yeah, man. Yeah, do you really think he has that much money? That Absolutely lot, not, but I kind of like him. Listen, I, I don't think he knows he has that much money, but he A, somehow. Or he slash the person who hired him somehow has a way of all this information and B has a way to distribute it to us four and then eight other people. So I'm curious who he's working for or who the eight other people are. Plus, you know, there's there's some other people if we if we go to the prison, other people we could like say hi to along the way you know some people that would probably make make the soul on empire a little a little disgruntled if they were classic wizard if they were back back among us this evil man if your plan is to release that one who was the only guy judas the betrayer one parlor trick don't it's a cool it's a cool uh flair i'll be honest (laughs) Judas. No, I don't. I mean, I don't have anything against him. I do not have anything against him. Wink, wink. <laughs> All right, we should tell the audience who this guy is. So he might be end up being a very important figure in this upcoming uh, quest. This is thinking. This is uh, Judas the Betrayer. He's a Goliath. Goliaths normally have lifespans around that of a human. He's six hundred fifty-three years old. Um, I'm just going to read out his whole description because it's important for the audience to understand. So he's a prisoner in the Octagon, which is the name of this prison. He's been a prisoner for almost 600 years, but when he was a free man, he committed such atrocities and horrors as to be the most hated being in the known galaxy. His flair, seek revenge and you shall dig, and you should dig two, good God, dig two graves, makes it so that any damage done unto him hurts everyone that he has reason to want revenge for, for what he has done. And so by the time he was caught, it was considered too dangerous to execute him, so they imprisoned him. It's unknown if death by natural causes would have the same effect, so the Afridi Wardens, who are the, the fire genies under the uh, Solan Empire, have been using magic rituals to keep him alive. However, the longer he is alive, the more his, his legend spreads, and it has gotten to the point where his sheer reputation makes people despise him, despite never having witnessed his crimes. If he dies, then thousands of good-hearted people across the known galaxy could suffer the consequences. And it's known that the kind of mechanic of this is that any damage done to unto him, equal damage is done on to everyone. So if he gets killed, it might kill thousands of people. So the the idea is, what do you do about him? <laughs> Listen, I told you, we 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 say that he's the one that killed the black scale pirate and then and that kill him so we kill black scale uh, boom piracy I, I destroyed i don't think that's how that's going to work yeah i think there might be a flaw or 50 in that plan <laughs> name one 
Uh, how about I name you the thousands of people that might die? So what? There's like millions of people in the known galaxy. I'd wager you gotta rip the band-aid off at some point. You can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. We're making the mother of all omelets, Jack! Cordelia, can you back me up on this? If you all did free Judas and he died, that would be the second time in the last, (laughs) what, five years that you all have killed thousands of people by accident. Fuck. Listen, I, I, we have not directly I'm not killed that many freedom. people. <laughs> I'm just saying, if he happens to die, he happens to die. We can't Ivan Drago this one. If he dies, multiple people die. All right, if he dies, some thousands of people might die. Might. All, all I'm saying is that you all have forewarning for this one. Just ignore him if we're doing this plan just completely yeah i didn't say we 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 kill him i just said if if things happen they happen oh in fact you know considering how afraid of this man dying everyone will be i imagine if we created some sort of stink in the town that might suggest a group was seeking to free him of cultists perhaps something along those lines perhaps they would in the event of a break-in, focus more on his defense than on that of the other prisoners. It might give us a better opportunity to get your man. Hmm. Ooh, that cultist thinking that you know it no, like no other Cordell. Oh, you know me. And speaking of loyal cultists, I had a great idea for your frog man. You see, he, does, like not, is <laughs> he does not strike me as the most trustworthy fellow. In fact, I believe that if we release him, I he'll probably try to skip out. And furthermore, I don't think he knows all that much about this person who is, is I suppose, the man who hired him. However, assuming he were to be incapacitated at some point, I could potentially curse him. <laughs> 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 and upon being cursed, he would be charmed by me, and then I could not only communicate with him telepathically, so long as we're on the same plane, but he would also effectively you know, be serving our interests. I imagine that would make for a much easier sort of interrogation, if you will. However, yeah. the same yeah. could also be applied to the pirate captain, and you could have a man on the inside, so long as he doesn't die and is released. But I can only do it to one. Yeah, I mean that 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 sounds juicy, and I mean I already have the ability to make him make Frogman and pass a save or answer one question truthfully, and I can do that like indefinitely as long as we're in contact. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> Get shut down. <laughs> You have been stopped. Deny. <laughs> uh, let's give him a few more seconds and see if he pops back. Um, I got, I got the next emote. Yeah. Just trim oh. it around his face. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, you already made it. <laughs> no, I just snapped it. Oh. Just Good snapped fucking it. God! How did we get that emote so fast? <laughs> Also, can Finn, I make the... can I make it an emote before he gets back? Great question. <laughs> Speed <laughs> run, save image. Here we go. Uh, this like trim around the light part of his face in the glass. Oh, and... he's gone. Wait, but, but he's not back yet. <laughs> he's not back yet. Not back. Actually, no I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can rotoscope it at lightning speed, but I can add it as an emoji like that. Um, <clears throat> shoes. No half measures, Finn. Uh, no half speed. measures. This is Cody. Use the cut tool. I don't, I can't rotoscope on my phone. <laughs> Wait, here, I'll try. Okay, so it's already there. It's already there as Cody, but I'm going to rotoscope it. I'm going to try. Edit. Uh, it's, uh, do I need to download an app? Oh. Well, wait, if it's sent on Discord, then you can do it on your computer, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Discord, <clears throat> here. I'll, I'll entertain the audience <laughs> with this. It's the meme of the guys like sweating and breathing hard and like slamming yeah. on the keyboard. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is our internet. Oh, you're talking about the uh, who was that? 
I can't remember either. Somebody know it's, speed run. It's one of my favorite memes of his face and then like some random thing like washing the dishes or something. <laughs> Um, okay. It's the um, Playboy Cardi merch speed run any percent. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, one sec. Save image. Okay, I'm gonna rotoscope it. Yes. Share screen. Desktop one. All right, here we are. Where is it? Downloads. Uh, don't look at anything. <laughs> Okay, accidentally we'll reveal secret lore while speed running. Let's uh, first make it a square. I got a lot of fun stuff over this yep. level up. <laughs> oh yeah, if you, no, you, you got to get, get stuff, the forehead as well. Get, get the forehead as well. The forehead. Gotta get the forehead. Is this a yeah. square? It's close. Because then it's like a perfect trim with the beard and the hair mm -hmm. around the glasses. Let's make it 170. <clears throat> Let's the other direction. One sec. 171. There it is. So now it's a square. All right. So now I think I can nice. do an auto detect kind of thing. Am I sharing my screen? I am. Okay. Yeah. What if I do this? Wait. I'm making him like the Obama thing. Uh, what's happening? I'm trying to select his face. <clears throat> That's the best I'm going to get, probably. Wait. What is that? Oh my God. <laughs> um, the contrast was insane for a second. <laughs> I can't, I don't know if I can, here, I'm going to manually do it. Yeah, it should be pretty easy to just draw, draw Make lines. him blurrier. <clears throat> Make him bald. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I do this? Baldify Cody. What the fuck? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the cut tool. <laughs> Tools. Uh, what, what do I do? How do I do this? <laughs> Where's the main eraser? Mode button? The secret lore is that Cody's not joining until he makes it himself. <laughs> <laughs> He's on caught on. Right now, I'm uploading it to Discord. Um, man, I love playing D and D. <laughs> well, we're almost done. Where did I save it? There it is. <laughs> and this one, upload emoji. Upload emoji. <clears throat> Send tweet. This there one is, is Cody, and I'm deleting the other one. Done. The emoji has been made. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, let it's me... a bit. It's a bit rough, <laughs> but we can we can trim it up post speed run. Yeah. Um. All right. He's not on Discord anymore, <clears throat> so I think he might have uh, lost internet for a little bit. Yeah. Which is the thing that can happen. Generally, it's only for like less than ten minutes. Like he's back. He's back. Okay. So at least on his phone. And and now he will be back soon, I bet. I'm proud of myself for rotoscoping. <laughs> I hope Cody doesn't feel we were making fun of him by rotoscoping his face while he was gone. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> that's how we got the other two masterpieces. Yeah, it's, it's, so, it's, like, it's okay to make fun of true. Cody. It's an equalizer. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just yeah. using this to go through like all of the people you thought were interesting. Um, here's internet. Here's what it looks like, by the way. Is my guess is the only thing he'll do is criticize your rotoscoping. That's that's the only thing I imagine. That feels like a Cody thing to do. <laughs> oh, you sent me some texts, John. Ah, you've made a list of magical items. I'll look gotcha at this game. Session. D and D has become gotcha. Yes, we're gonna gotcha. Oh yeah, um, so you, you can put in real money to do more spins. <laughs> Eight grand D and D. Yeah, just pay me a hundred dollars <laughs> and you'll get all your items. <laughs> well, that wouldn't be true lost. gotcha. You have, I, we have to rate I, up as Elias. I already lost fucking money on GameStop. I'm not wasting more. <laughs> oh no. So so yeah, but back to D and D. Uh, something Jajun wanted to do over her time skip was make and find magic items. And John has just sent me a list of those items. Are these categorized by make and find or are they just general? Oh, uh, you've got them in I just categorized them by randomly. I didn't have a really have a preference for any of them. Just all sound, all stuff that sounds nice. Cool. Yeah, so I'll make like a pool with the more common ones listed more and then I'll do like a random number generator to uh, to make the gotcha system of it 
Raid up time. Raid up time. <laughs> Where's the fucking spark <laughs> mechanic? <laughs> when, when is our pity mechanic getting introduced? Truth. Okay, let's uh, see. Pity is still on his phone. Uh, um, fuck. There's so react? many people so in the dog. Pity react. Well, I guess it's, he might be using a uh, phone signal so that he can see what's going on. But I don't think he has enough phone signal to like join the Zoom from his phone. Yeah, he reacted F to the Cody emote. <laughs> <Broke I'll... it>. <laughs> <laughs> it's expanding. It's turned into an F U. <laughs> is there going to be a C or is that is it F U? I think it's F U because then if he did fuck you, um... I put in an F. Oh, yes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I moved in too quickly. <laughs> You defeated Bunk. him. <laughs> Wait, that's that's his name. Funk. Funk. <laughs> Funk, but spelt wrong. <laughs> Fun. Funk. Yeah. Funk, Fun. but spelt right. <laughs> Funk. <laughs> I've had Funk on my own original OC. Funk. And we have a Funk emote. <laughs> Wait, take away the K and put read? a Q, so it's like Shaq. <laughs> You're right. Hold you, on. Need, you need to, Finn. You need to share screen so the audience knows what the fuck we're talking about. The entertainment. All right. All right. I'll, I'll do chat. it. Um, who's gonna overdrive their mic and do the burger audio? <laughs> <laughs> that made me think of one of my all-time favorite, uh, like YouTube high cues. Oh, now there's a cue on the end. I see. What kind yeah, of McDonald's has Shoot a cake. message? Is it possible <laughs> to turn that into an emote? Yeah, I could that picture. But it doesn't yeah. have the It's too wide. Like Here, I'm gonna ask Cody. Uh, did your <laughs> internet cut out, Cody? Discord noise. <clears throat> For the audience at home, I know this isn't D and D, but hopefully, <laughs> it is still entertaining content. And we'll get back to D and D shortly. Joe, oh wait, can can I make an emote? How do I do? How do you do that? You just upload an image as an emote. <laughs> but how? You, I don't know how to explain it. Ah, uh, this is we're getting into YouTube tutorials now. There's, um, how to make process like this. Oh, so it's in settings. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm now but noticing in, in you all can see a secret yeah. channel. Is that right? There's a secret channel? Fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all right. I didn't notice. <laughs> oh, okay. You know, I mean, I it thought you were just... Mentioned. No, no, to I thought fair. that was something you were just DMing, Tommy, <clears throat> rather than having a channel for. It's so that I, in case other... I forget one of the pictures, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. And to be fair, we did talk about it in the, the mini session, so... You know. Yeah, that's true. I was more so looking at all the other servers you had, like the one that whose image is just the fucking Turing machine. A what? A what, Turing machine? One of the other servers, the image was the profile pic was just a drink machine. Oh, a drink machine. Yeah. It's better than mine. All my all the servers that I'm in have these goon pictures. Like one of them is like Mads Mickelson, just like this or something, like doing the goddamn. What the fuck is that even? I don't know, like he's getting like a, a big phone thing. call. Uh, uh, what else do we got here? We got one that's like a, a cat that looks like one. a damn. Yeah, no, it's just an F. Tragedy. Uh, we got the fucking, we got one where a cat's looking like a, sort of like a big potato. So there's a pat of butter on its back. Oh, fuck. Uh, what is that? I was in that for a while. That's the meme team. <laughs> that's yeah. That's what it sets homies. Uh, oh, Cody's here. Several other goon ones. All right. You know what I'll do is I'll the put like a time code in the description of this video that says here's where it all goes to hell and <laughs> here's where we come back so that people can skip past it if they want. <laughs> that way they will not be stuck in hell forever. So I admitted Cody into the room. And he. <laughs> ah, here he is. Okay. <clears throat> He's he here? maybe here. <laughs> Cody? 
This is like having a fucking seance. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Are you here with us in this room? (laughs) (laughs) I got a candle. Hold on. Let's get this going. (laughs) Never had such a name on a black screen. Been so ominous. Um, This is just like Unfriended. (laughs) (laughs) I watched that the other day with uh, who? Some people. Uh, Me and Sue's. Yeah, 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 yeah. Chris and Susan. And it was very good. Unfriended is a great movie. The other one was not, though. The yeah, Zoom horror most, movie. The Zoom <clears throat> one was not great. But everyone <laughs> else loved it. But, like, <laughs> Chris and I did not. Yeah, it, hmm. You know, oh. it's because 2020 was just kind of stagnant in terms of movies and stuff. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm getting a uh, encryption problem. It says Cody's audio is unencrypted. I've never. I can see that Cody's trying to talk because that because like hacking. oh yeah, I see. Keeps lighting up. up. Could you uh uncry- Cody encrypt it? your audio? He screams. Yeah, I'm but hacking no one Cody's hears. audio right now. <laughs> oh no, you're hacking my phone line. Okay, okay. Get, it, get a Navajo <laughs> code talker so we can communicate. <laughs> Metal <back> Gear. <laughs> XOF. <clears throat> All right. So, so, so I assume while I've been gone, you guys have broken into the prison and freed everyone, right? Yeah. How'd you guess? <laughs> Turned out they just let us right in. Because you weren't there. Uh, your audio is a little quiet, Cody. I don't know if that's uh, if you're using a different system or what. Well, yeah, he's I, on his I, phone. As yeah. I said, I, I am on my phone. Ah. Okay. Well, once uh, I, I think it, it, it'll be fine. If you put your mouth right up to the phone input, you might be able to do some some fried audio. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. <laughs> this is hectic. <laughs> ring, ring, it's me, bitch. <laughs> get, this is where we get all the B reel for the the end of all the episodes. Yeah. This this far in advance. <laughs> all right. Once once Chris comes back, we'll uh, catapult back into D and D, and that'll be the the time code where I let the viewers know that. D and D has resumed. Okay, so we are we are back in D and D. Welcome back, audience. If you skip to this point, um, I think last time we left, Fonk was talking about the advantages of going in and getting Frogman. Right. Uh, I I don't know where I cut off, but I was saying, ooh. You, having having a Manchurian candidate in the Black Seal Pirates sounds cool. Plus, I already have a like telepathic mind truthful question thing I can do to Frogman, which was my plan. Now I will say, I know that our track record is not the best with incapacitation, but that is what we are going to need. <laughs> He has to be incapacitated, really not bomb. killed. I, I've got some things that can be used to incapacitate. I have a lot of kill things, I'm afraid. Not not too many <clears throat> altruistic powers, I must say. I was built to kill, so... <laughs> well, does Jajen have any sleep guns? No. <laughs> no. Sleep the sleep be permanent? <laughs> Dirt nap bullets. The, the emotion bullets from Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> I'm sure making it up. Like we'll take a nap. Flintlock. So it seems like the party is pretty on board with this idea of yeah. going into the prison and getting out at least two people. Or, well, getting out one person and ending one person's life. So Nissa is going to put her hat in the ring and, and, and she's going to say, plus we can free... Uh, uh, Lazakos, which would really uh, make Solon really, really pissed, and I'm always a fan of that. He was the uh, the former headmaster of El Torkel. He's a, a human man. He was the the wiz- wizard looking guy. He also gives us access to big dick magic. So <laughs> maybe he's not even a wizard, and that's just what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Did we establish what the pictures and the important figures document are? Are they paintings? Are they photos? I think 
I think when I asked, we decided, yeah, they're they're still pictures or whatever. Okay. The, he decided to get on the new technology. Right. Or or whoever. We don't know if it's Frogman, but whoever the informant is yeah. the source of the info. All right. So if, if you all are, are all set with that as a general plan, you all can start heading towards the city of Brass. There is one thing I'd like to want to do before going there. Yes. Uh, so I, I know that we discussed it just a little bit, but I really do think it would be in our best interest to create a diversion of some kind. I'm not sure how. Um, outside of it would generally be good if we were, oh, we're going to break out Judas the Betrayer. Oh, no. Tragedy. That would be great, but we need to have some way to back that up. So I think I think set, setting rumors like that, yeah, but I believe ideally this would be a, a stealth mission to begin with. <laughs> you seem like two pretty d distinct approaches. Right. That That's sort of what I was getting at. Uh, I, I hate to say this, but our track record, again, not the best with stealth. Not terrible, with of me. course. We, we made it through the sewers. Fairly and then well, all of a sudden, but... Nissa kills Cordelia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the audience at home, Cody Listen, had a dream. Our track record is pretty good when not under the effects of 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 brain juice poisoning. I was not poisoned. <laughs> poisoning of the mind, of the Perhaps soul. Perhaps to you. Has Cordelia Perhaps revealed you. what? superpower she got from that to the others i it's I the meme so. image of the guy like going with the pizza <laughs> not yet i don't think it's really been a good time last time she was trying to jack around with it she they took the parlor trick god's body and well <laughs> that sort of went south so sure i think she's sort of kept quiet about it for now does this know more than the others in fact, I think Cordelia, I've opened up to her a little bit about her past and why she's so confident in what she does, but just as much as she needs to know. Makes sense. What, while you all are talking about this, uh, the potential of a prison break, Cordelia, you, I guess having the secret chat being called obelisk visions is not, is not appropriate because they're not current visions. They're just, you're remembering different things in this whole big mosaic. But you remember uh, another one, which I have sent to you now. Another uh, small piece of this larger image. Mm. Well, maybe sneaking wouldn't be such a bad option. <laughs> Listen, I, we, we've got to have multiple plans. Because, like, I, I assume this to be true. If if it's not, we we rewind time, and I do not spread falsehoods. But I assume they have some sort of like anti magic situation going on. Which, given that two of us are pretty much big magic, Imagine one of us is like magic. half magic, and the other is no. like magic guns. Some mixture <laughs> of of magic and hitting. I think we need to have like try to go in order of least escalation to most. Cordelia, something you know, and I think uh, everyone else roll Arcana. Cordelia, you automatically succeed. Um, you don't have to roll, Chris. But who the fuck is Arcana? Oh, I got okay. a three. Hang on. It's twenty non natural. Dirty Ooh. twenty. Uh, what, what did you get, John? 11. Uh, Cody? I got 25. All right, you, you all pass. You all have learned through some means or another that parlor tricks are unrelated to magic. And so anti-magic zones or dead magic zones will not, like you'll still be able to do parlor tricks in them. 
the parlor they tricks do not come from the weave at all. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. They come from the shadow weave. Uh, we do have an escape plan. That's an excellent point. Mm -hmm. The chalkboard. We have an escape plan. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Hence, if we can get in there stealthily, we've got like an easy out. It's it's just like last time, baby. And then, John, a reminder of uh, the other facet of your parlor trick that you figured out in the time skip. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, I can cut the thing in pieces, and those can work as different exits. The chalk? The board. The board. <laughs> oh, you idiots. I was like, what the fuck does cutting chalk have to do with anything? <laughs> Yeah, I've got uh, half of the board on Avaron right now, and the other half in my home in Jollywood. Mm. So that is might be something. Jollywood or what is it? Did I fuck up the pronunciation? Oh, it's Jollywood. Yeah, well, like non-locals call it Jollywood. Locals call it Yollywood. It's well, Nevada it's versus Nevada. Nevada. <laughs> yeah. New Orleans. New Orleans. <laughs> so. I think that there are a few things that are in store. One is Jajin goes and get the gets the chalkboard. Uh, we don't need to get the chalkboard. That's already set up. Oh, that's already set up because you have the chalk, right? Yeah. Yeah, good, good point. And then you can just I never it. leave home without that thing on me. <laughs> and uh, I think the other thing that is in store is that you all do a little bit of recon. You don't know a ton about the prison right now. Yeah. Very true. So, now that we're on to the recon stage, Chris, you have to answer my question. Can I teleport matters worse inside the prison? Mm, there is an answer. What, what kind of teleportation are you doing? Magical. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. To, to, an, to an extent... You can teleport him in there. But I don't know. Finn, Finn knows the answer to this. So he can choose like what to say. Yeah. I guess that's part of finding um, out. Yeah. So what, what, what exactly are you using to teleport? Teleport. All right. Let me Google that. Are you all having fun at home? Yes. We're yeah. having a great time. We like that part in the middle where you just riff for a little while. <laughs> What's your favorite episode of Game Room Philly? I like the one where the party fucked up for a long time. Um, All things considered, this is more of a plan than we've had on some of these little endeavors. So I don't think there's any reason why he wouldn't be able to teleport anywhere into the prison. Mm -hmm. so, so it is not a dead magic zone. It, it is... Okay, I don't. Does is the magic of a teleportation at the start or the end or both? You cannot teleport into a dead magic zone. Okay, you cannot teleport into most of the prison, but you, th th this isn't something that you would know right now. Well, I mean, I'm gonna ca ask teleport on it. What happens? So specifically, teleport to Frogman. Uh, give me one second. And Are you I doing can... this like right now in the ship in the material plane? Uh, I don't think it lets you do it like Between I planes. don't think you can do from it from plane to other plane. Yeah. So like when we go to the astral plane, I do such business. Are do you are you are you doing this when you you are near the uh, city of brass or just like? I'm I'm doing this like once whenever we enter the astral plane. Okay, yeah. Which so presumably would be before. Oh, with the idea that you would likely be able to come back if you could go there. I see. Uh, no, it it definitely does not work. Um, there there feel it feels like there is a block, or not a block, but there's just like. To magic, it feels like the place does not exist. If that makes any sense. Um, we'll probably get an answer too late, but I am going to ask uh, some rules gurus about this. 
about teleporting into a dead magic zone? Yeah, well, you can't do it, but I wonder if it uses the spell slot. Mm. It does, I believe. Okay, I'll double check, but thanks. So the, the thing to look up is anti-magic field. Yeah. Um, let me... Uh, yeah, they mentioned spell slots in here. Spell slot. Um, slot. <laughs> yeah, a slot expended to cast a suppressed spell is consumed. Okay, thanks. All right, so you're oh, hold, hold on. slot down, I suppose, Cody, or Funk, but, but well, yeah. Ben, it, read, what, read what I sent you real quick. Oh, thanks. Um, <clears throat> that would be a fun accident. Um, let me think if it's justified. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to read more on the teleport spell. <laughs> no worries. The, it's important that this is rigorous in some sense. Um, okay, how do you declare the destination funk? Drog, man. Yeah, that doesn't do it. You, uh... Wait, sorry, one sec. Um... You can try a, two, a few different methods if you're, I mean, I assume you, you can try a few different methods. You can. I mean, uh, so I assume I know what the like reason you're just like, it doesn't fail is. And like, I, I, I suppose I would perhaps try that with like, cause it, it's gonna take like a few days to get there regardless. Yeah. It's going to take a few days to get there. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess try like trying to teleport him instead of with an associated object to see if maybe I can get matters worse, like a little off target or something. See if that'll work. All right. Okay. So I see how the, the the mishaps work on the table. So this is an this is an area that you have a description of, not an area that you have viewed. So um, I don't have that listed with my like spells, and I cannot look it up. What what are the results table of? Okay. So it's a function of familiarity, and the. Uh, the output space is mishap, similar area, off target, and on target. So yeah, but I, I have like the results of the different things, but I don't have like my familiarity of description. Oh, d description is the familiarity. Yes, but I do not have like I don't know what the what the table is for because I've got like associated object very familiar seen casually and viewed once so uh, i don't have description I, I can all right help. so are you trying to teleport yourself in did you say or matters worse or some matters worse because matters right. worse is, is sort of two-way communication sure so i'm rolling that is oh this is the number i don't know how to read it's a one and a zero, zero. Oh, 100. Yeah. Or wait, no, 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 no. Zero, zero, one is a one. Zero, zero, zero is a 100. Woohoo, mishap. Zero, zero, so that results in a mishap. Fuck. Uh, ooh, now I re-roll on the table to see where you end up. So first of all, you take, or not you, matters worse. Take some damn matters worse is destroyed for the moment. F and chair. And in that destruction, it doesn't matter where it ends up because it is destroyed. How much damage do you take in a mishap? Uh 3d10 force damage. Fucking Christ. Oh, well, did you roll a 3d10? He could survive. I'll, I'll do it. You gotta you gotta determine where his organs are splattered. <laughs> yeah. It's clay organs. Organs. 
Uh, that's a 16. Damn, I think that, he has 10 health, health, right? Yeah. yeah, he's got 10 health. So, okay, so now I figure out where it goes. So I reroll on the table. I, I guess there's only one option. You, uh, so you can tell where Matters Worse is, right? Is that a thing? I, I don't know. Jesus can Christ. I? So I know where Matters Worse ended up. But I guess you were familiar with the clay that composed Matters Worse. So yes. wherever it ended up probably is beneficial to some extent. So you could teleport to where Matters Worse <laughs> ended up. Hold on, create teleport. Saying. You create Matters Worse again. I'm sending you to your corpse. <laughs> you could do it. I mean, the, the, is Matters Worse, did he die before or after he was teleported? uh after all right all right then i guess at some point in like afterwards i make him and ask him like hey hey buddy where'd you end up how much living time did he have before very, he very little uh let's say let's say he got he knew what kind of room he ended up in but that's it i, I saw a cave a, a cave a cave well, that's not the prison. Wow. But you you wanna you wanna go back to that cave, buddy? Yeah, I want I want to eat me. I want to eat my corpse. <laughs> Fuck! I want to eat me. All right. Well, we'll try again tomorrow, and you can explore that cave and and eat your corpse. <laughs> All right, so a day goes by, I assume, to re regain the spell slot. Yeah. And um, you try and teleport matters worse to his corpse. Um, I'll say you're very familiar. Do, do familiar I not have an associated corpse. object of the rest of clay? Familiar with the flavor. You're right, you're right, you're right. So it's on target. So matters worse, you appear in the cave that, that you know about, Chris. And that is outside of the uh, outside of the render distance of uh, the party, but you're in there. Matters worse. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Fucking hell! Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Oh, I really want to go say hi to them in person <laughs> now. Do yeah, it. I'll just stupid. like use the bathroom or something. <laughs> I'll go see how y'all are doing. So, I, I've got no video. I assume that there's like a fire alarm yeah, going off yeah. in their apartment. And they're Seems that way. <laughs> Correct. So, we're having a little, nice. little, little break, if you will. I'm going to be right back. Cool. Cool. So, uh, I, I assume I'm the only one still on mic. So, this is the Cody show. Yeah, keep them entertained. <laughs> All right, so like you got you got everyone but Cody as the opening act. Now you have got Cody. So so how how you guys doing, audience? Is, uh, Irish guy, are you still like watching? Did you ever watch? Huh? I, I don't know, but like if, if you are, like go into the comments. I I genuinely would love to hear from you, Irish guy, on how you're liking the show. Or like anyone else, you don't have to be Irish. I, I let me let me hear like how you're liking the show. Do you know anything cool I could do with bard spells that I haven't yet done? <laughs> do you know how we can get into the prison? Now, now we're doing Dora. All right. How do we get into the prison? Now, now, audience, you need to shout out how we do it. Oh, that's a good idea. I think we'll try it. You see, because cause, cause this is being recorded ahead of time, and I, I can't hear you. So I can't say, oh, you said this. I have to say, like, oh, like, be vague. And you can fill it in in your head, like, oh, he did hear me. Which, sorry, sorry to break the illusion. 
<laughs> but but if you put it in the comments, I will see, and then I will know, and we can do it next time. You see, that's the exciting thing. You can interact. It's just time delayed. Although, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know if Finn watches this or is going to edit it. So, hi, Finn. How's it going? You, you enjoying? You enjoying like going scrubbing through the video or whatever? I'm like, hey, I, I guess. I think Joe said he watches these afterwards. So, hey, Joe. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, I I wonder I, I wonder what caused that fire alarm. Put your suggestions below. I think someone fucked up popcorn. Cuz that's usually what it does it. That or someone took a very hot and steamy shower at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, which that that could also do it. All right. Uh, I don't I don't have much more riffing, so I'm just gonna walk you all through through my ideas right now. So I've got like teleport that can get them in, and that's cool. I've got I've got etherealness, which which I don't know how etherealness, how the ethereal plane would interact, and how the anti magic zone would interact. But if they don't, like if it doesn't, I I can make us ethereal for like eight hours, and we can move in move into position, and then. And then pop in and like back to the drawing board our way out of there, which that could be useful if if such a thing works. And then hey, you like you go, ah, you you've returned. Yeah, I said hi to them. All right, so I, I was talking to the audience to fill time. And I was telling them like my my ideas. Okay. So I I can now talk to you about them. All right. We've got teleport, which doesn't seem to be like a viable option of getting in. I've got etherealness, which I can upcast to eighth level to do me plus three others. And and we have me and three others that can move through the ethereal plane. And like, I don't know how anti magic zone would interact with it. And like, I don't know how the ethereal plane would work in this setting. But we could like ethereal our way into there, and then just like send send the people we want to send home home What's with the, the back again? to the drawing board. Which spell? Cody was just talking about. We actually, yeah. This party has a lot of teleportation, actually. Because, Cody, if you'll recall, I also have Dimensional Door. So, like, I can be jumping yeah, and shit. I, I've got Misty stuff once. I've got Teleport. I've got not, not necessarily a, uh, like, teleportation spell normally, but potentially in some situations, Banishment. Cool. And like Carl Carl, you gotta love him, has a teleportation circle. Which which he uses like on Rock the reg. His culinary teleportation circle. Yeah. At every day at like a certain time, he he makes the pizza, cast teleportation circle throws the pizza through and then the people on the other side toss him the like <laughs> magical chalk so he can cast it again the next day for him to deliver his pizza. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Which like is just a dumb fun lore thing but could could come into effect. Ooh. Because at the very he least knows. he knows 
knows the teleportation circle pattern for like a dwarven general or something. <laughs> so if if we need, we can teleport circle to the dwarven general's house. My big worry about this is um, if we get caught, we're making a name for ourselves and we don't really have any faction we stand with except Fonk. And like, Nissa's is basically going to attempt to take over the turn of pirates. But, uh, uh, their name is sort of apocryphal in that regard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they turned away from Solon. That's true, but to usurp the crew. Uh, fair. <laughs> yeah, uh, the uh, closest. We're gonna have oh. another time skip as Nissa slowly works her way up the up the ranks of the crew. Hell yeah! We get some good rigging footage. Uh, we get some uh, passive times at sea, hanging out on deck. Space C. Kicking it with the boys. Uh, yeah, Space C, the classic. We're, it's just uh, Treasure Planet again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, so, do, do you guys have any any recon ideas planned? No, actually, I came into this super tired. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I was banking on just playing a backseat in this. I had more interaction than I expected, truthfully. Um, I man, I'm still I'm still nervous about it just being us because if if we just get in there without any sort of preamble or anything, and they're gonna know to come like straight for us, you know what I'm saying? So like, obviously, it can't be our primary way. And you're absolutely right that if we like if our characters are the ones creating a ruckus and shit, then that's obviously gonna break bad like right away. I just I I was hoping that I could try to think of some way to incite violence or something but i i really we're, can't look, think of anything else we're breaking into impel down and then we're convincing all the other prisoners to riot <laughs> fair enough so i i i'm not aware tommy did you are you full uh warlock or whatever or did you take weaver stuff Oh no! I I just went full on warlock with it. Well, Weaver stuff Dawn. isn't a class. It's like uh like piety. I think is the way you described it in the doc. Yeah, you sh you should have some of it, but you should not have enough of it to fix the anti magic zone. Yeah, that'd be very surprising if I did, especially considering the fact that I is I don't even know if Weaver's with us, and that's the thing. I I mean she's done some independent research, but I didn't think she'd actually have all that much. On account of the fact that that's really not what she was doing with her time. But I, I'm not sure how uh, Finn wants to handle that yet. Yeah. Because, uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know that I have a way. Because I assume that the, like, guards are all, like, fire people. Which, if, if I could somehow disguise myself as, as a fire person. Like, I've got the charisma to, like fake it till I make it what was my right. minimum deception of 25 and I could so I have a name for myself in the elemental sectors as someone who works with the Solon forces because I had to lie about it and be like yeah I'm fine get off my back you fucking idiots sure um so I would probably be able to not necessarily waltz in but at least convince them to let me in I mean, I could also, I have a pretty good persuasion. Obviously, I have a 20 uh, I mean, in charisma and a proficiency in persuasion. So, like, I'm not worried about our way to talk, our ability to talk ourselves out of something. I mean, we could, like, I don't know how, but we could, like, try to, like, cross the wires and, like, create a little bit of confusion of when and what the, like, prisoner transfer or release is going to be. And then disguise ourselves, because, I mean, I'm, I'm an elf. Elves are Solon. This is like Solon. We could be like, yeah, we're here to free him. But uh, also, we like black black scale wants some like 
more potential people for his crew. So we want to like investigate through the prisoners, see if we can find any. We're pulling a like, black beard. I mean, first, I I don't think I don't think so because Blackbeard like used his thing to get in and then just started wrecking shit. Whereas ideally we get in and like somehow have Cordelia, Cordelia, no, not Cordelia, fuck. I keep confusing you two. Jajin like there and just be like hide little teleportation <laughs> circles and like. <laughs> try to like be like yeah hey go go here or alternatively we're just like yeah we're getting we're getting the black scale guy and we're also getting the the people from El Torkel and Frogman for, for like no here's a concept like, we're, we're getting black scale Welcome and back. we're getting these people to execute Consider this though, and then we just walk out of there with them. Wait, are you go, Haha, Nina, Nina. No, no. Okay, I was gonna be so impressed. <laughs> if only, <laughs> um, we could potentially Jajin could use like a just draw the circles ahead of time on pieces of paper and fold them up, and then we could. All right, once uh, once Joe gets that back, work, we'll catch us up on what happened. I, in why wouldn't it? DM was D and D. I mean. Joe Thus far, it's not. only been on like stationary stuff. But what like, if we tried it, I guess is the question. I mean, I assume if <laughs> if Jason doesn't already know, it's pretty easy to find out. Very true. Okay, so the the situation is uh, John's got to go pretty soon to go shopping, but he says it's all right if we keep on doing recon without Jason. And Chris has created a way for Jason to be uh to be uh. In, not incapacitated. What Killed. is the word? <laughs> not Killed. available. There's some word. Dead. Murdered. Don't worry, I can speak to the dead. Cease to exist. <laughs> um, in, 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 whatever. Uh, John, are you at your computer, by the way? John is speculatively in his room, I'm pretty sure. All right, yeah, I got to leave now. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, bye. bye. But <laughs> yeah, okay. just fill me in on everything later. Right. Well, Jason gets a call from Johnny Hanks and goes, "Screw you!" <laughs> so, David, well, it's four p.m. Time for his dick flattening session. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, we'll, we'll Johnny Hanks get pegged. <laughs> so, I guess first of all, I want to hear what what you or I mean, unless it was planning. If it was planning the prison prison thing, don't tell me because I don't want to know until you all actually do it. I, dang, it was sort of a little bit of both, it seemed. Well, no, it, it wasn't planning recon pretty much at all. Okay. It was mostly. <laughs> I mean, I, I talk, like my recon options are matters worse, teleportation, and then like, Hey, anybody know anything about this prison? <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's what I was going to suggest to you. I mean, there's a couple locations. I don't remember what they're called, but there's at least like a big marketplace and like yeah. um wow, what was the other place called? The Street of Last Houses. It's in Yeah. Metropolis. There's also ca- right. some castles. So like I mean, if some near do wells are hanging around the fucking necropolis then maybe that might know something or i mean i'm sure somebody knows something about the place yeah no so, like pounding the pavement a little bit so there's actually a pretty good i have a decent idea which is that we stop by the marriage subsidiary um which lets nissa put her ear to the ground in a place that she's better respected and like because because they're all in the elemental sector so she'd probably hear some scuttlebutt about it um and be like oh hey i can go over and see what's going on and it also gives a funk time to connect uh part of the uh information empire sure i i like that idea um i think we need to resolve what happened to matters worse 
Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, forget like, what. <laughs> I would have teleported him and told him like, "Hey, like, because he's like in some sort of flying pest form that hopefully wouldn't arouse too much suspicion," and told him like, "Hey, like, see where you are," and then like after an hour or two, like, eat your body, die, <laughs> and then and then we'll regroup. <clears throat> Sure. So, so th this happens, and uh, yeah, I guess this is all up to Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Coincidentally, this is all up to Chris. <clears throat> what happened? So, you reform matters worse a day later, and I assume you all. I assume Nissa has told has uh, told the the crew about um, or the the PCs about the married plan, and you all are headed there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So, matters worse returns. And so, um, hey, buddy. Hey. Oh, I thought you were gonna have me play out the scene, but <laughs> it's just uh, matters worth telling. It's just matters worth telling. Funk. Cause, okay. Yeah, because that's the <clears throat> the render distance of the player characters. Well, first thing you know is wait. So he he died. So he didn't reformed him. Okay. Yeah. He's like ah, now I have two bodies to eat. We get back. <laughs> hmm. I was so big because I ate myself, kept growing. The real story. Yeah, buddy, you sure did. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I just realized I'm I'm talking to Matters Worse the same way I'm gonna I'm talking to Goblo <laughs> or whatever his name is. Yeah. Goblin buddy that I oh fuck, I forgot to make the pirates. Yeah, I guess by next session I will make <laughs> Fox six extra pirate crew, but one of them is a goblin. Okay. Who has little brain. All right. <clears throat> yeah. So you you find out like where you were or anything? Mm -hmm. I was in a cave. It was a pretty it's a cave that has magic. It's the only magic place in there. It uh it's a prison cell for for, for a dude. He had a creepy voice. Cave, the cave of magic, the the cave specifically that allows oh. for the use of magic. That so cave. I'm I'm I, I'm putting my my rubbing my two brain cells together, <laughs> and assuming based both on like the photo and everything that this is like the Judas cave where the magic to keep him alive is. He didn't say his name, but he kept stroking me. I didn't like it. <laughs> What, was does, he this give, does this give Funk enough reason to want revenge against <laughs> Judas? <laughs> Have you already fucked it up? No. I mean, <laughs> I mean okay. if anything, it's making me like ingratiated to him because <laughs> his existence allows a teleportation into. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you this time. He called me a cute little so, uh, <laughs> Do I get like enough information from Matters Worth that like I'm reasonably sure that that is the case? Sure. Yeah. He, All right. The, he he was creepy, but he told me a lot of stuff for some reason. What what sort of stuff? Uh, <laughs> now I have to <laughs> arbitrary information. I'm going to tell you right now, and possibly a skip of dialogue. <laughs> Matters Worth whispers <laughs> something into Funk's ear and it makes him so unbelievably angry he dies. <laughs> I thought you were going to say horny. <laughs> Some interesting but not quite relevant information. Uh, Funk, I guess, or I guess, uh, Finn, this is you. How much? How sure. much was revealed to? Uh, to so Matters Worse. Matters Worse can't leave the cell. <clears throat> um, or Judas can't leave a cell. Neither of them can leave the cell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, matters worse can die. Judas cannot die. Um, so, God, imagine if like the magic was unable to die, and I just lost matters worse. <laughs> oh my God, that oh. would have been an idea. <laughs> anyway, um, so I guess anything that Judas could tell matters worse is fair, fair game. There's no limitation on that. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris is controlling Judas, by the way. Yeah. Is the reason why this is, um, but you you gain access to any like 
the visuals of the cave, anything that Judas wants to say? Yeah, I guess Judas would share, for unknown reasons to the party, but he would share uh, whatever information he has with this cute little flying creature. Uh, information on what? Uh, I guess Matters Verse was asking about the prison. So, sure. Like, hey, hey, big guy, happen to know guard schedules or weaknesses? <laughs> <laughs> yes as a matter of fact yeah okay this, this makes sense from judas's perspective yeah 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 for sure so mm. th this is how you all get the basic schematic of the octagon so they still don't hear judas's voice that's good thank you <laughs> oh uh, is this the one that i know the voice of i think so <laughs> I, I assume it's either gonna be horrible or like a really high-pitched pika situation I don't. I don't want to give anything away, but I do want to say it's fucking incredibly base. I'm going to send you all a picture, uh, and this is going to be a kind of description. Let me make sure there's nothing spoilery on here. <clears throat> oh yeah, there is a spoilery thing on here. I need to erase one thing, uh, mm -hmm. but then I'll send you all a picture. Oh God! I hope you don't see the pit that I erased. Obviously. <laughs> Rather um, than race it, just mark it out. Like cover. But then it. they'll see where th it's a location is the issue. Ah. Um. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is this is uh, this is fine. And they also can't see where it is. Um. Sorry. One sec. And now I'm putting this in the chat. And I'll also share the screen so that people can see. This is what I drew this morning. Where is the chat? <laughs> wow, the case, it looks man. so nice. No, not D and D season five. <laughs> <laughs> Galactic is that? Well, wait a second. Those stars are 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 zero. <laughs> so this is. Uh, let me open original, and I'll put this on the screen as well. Squares make a circle. All these squares make a circle. <laughs> Uh, at least Fonk, you get the information that is contained in uh, in this image by me. Ironically, I'm the one that cannot see the image. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you're on your phone, I think if you scroll left, you can see it. No, I, I'm not like on Zoom. I am on like a literal phone call. Oh, okay. I forgot that was a thing that was possible. Mm. Anyway, yeah. what you I mean, learn... it's not like I don't share the information with the others. Sure, yeah. sure. So this is the general schematic of the octagon. It is shaped like an octagon, which took me literally half an hour to realize should be a thing. Um, I was shaping it like other things. I'm like, holy shit, it's called the octagon. <laughs> hexagon. <laughs> the hexagon. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was like, if only I had some basis for design. Um, <laughs> anyway, it is this, uh, it's large. It has more than a thousand uh, prisoners. It's the overflow prison for the Solon Empire um, after the main prison, which is Omnizu's prison. Um, it's in the city of Brass, which is a city in the, uh, the Afridi subsidiary in the sector of elemental fire. Um, the entire thing is a uh, dead magic zone, a natural dead magic zone, except for Judas's cell, which is a cave, unlike the other cells. So it's not like they have a, a, a dead magic like electricity system running. It's no. just like the they're like, was hey, built this around this. Magic yeah, machine broke. So. These big blobs are rock formations that are we're like X-ray looking through. So all of this is inside of rock, and all of this is inside of rock. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, this is the entrance. Uh, the most important thing about moving around in this prison is these things. These are separating doors. They're large and they're made of stone, uh, and 
kind of near each one is a kind of alleys of ultra hot magma that is pumped in from the natural magma springs from these big rock formations. Uh, just so that if you were to have somehow the strength to push the boulders, you would have to do it while also being like on fire. So that wouldn't be a good time. Uh, but these big, these gigantic Jesus stone-esque uh, separating doors are openable by umber hulks uh, who are from the Dow subsidiary, but are being employed on, um, uh, the Senate is voting on whether or not to convict Donald Trump. Um, mm -hmm. They're being employed by the Afridi subsidiary for this purpose. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so in order <clears throat> to access any part, you have to essentially, or the idea is you have to have an Ember Hulk to open the door. There's no locks, they're just physically really big and there's no magic way of getting around them. So like you would have to- So it's not like they're specifically like Ember Hulk doors, they're just like big and heavy. Big and, Umber Hulk yeah. and say like the only- Say like the only handholds in there are like umber hawk claw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it yeah, would exactly. be hard to get a grip on them if you didn't have umber claw hands. Um, umber claw. <laughs> yes, umber cock. Well, Chris, I hope you thought about Princess's voice. Um, Prince. Oh shit! You're right. Big brain move. What? Princess, he said. You know the one mercenary that's an umber hawk. I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> So, uh, Princess uh, Bodhisattva. Oh, that sounds familiar. Anyway, uh, other she's, features. She's the is... only pit fighter that's beaten Nissa. Yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> yeah. She so snapped Nissa's spine. <laughs> like fucking Bane. <laughs> um, some yeah, other I can features. Do a Nissa voice. Or, Nissa, voice. Nissa voice. <laughs> it's me, Nissa. Do, yeah, do your Nissa voice. Yeah. Nissa, yeah. Yes. I swing it and hard. <laughs> It'll be a team up between uh, them and then also the kids that Jejin lost to. <laughs> <laughs> nope, remember Jejin broke the kids' spines. <laughs> yes. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. She got entered kids. in the wrong tournament and this was blasting <laughs> kids. That's right. So, some uh, other features of the prison mm -hmm. are there are these outcroppings that are like recreation and food areas. These are pretty big things. Like, imagine. Each one of these blocks has what 150 cells on it, accessible via the hallways, and they're inside these kind of shaded areas. So these recreation and dining areas are fairly large. Um, other things going on: there are cameras stationed pretty much equally. Uh, there's a few more around the maximum security zone. Um, there are natural magma tunnels that are these kind of squiggly lines. They're kind of small and they're bl blocked off from the uh, <clears throat> the prison by these big, what, whatever these black boxes are that I've drawn. Um, here's the entrance. There's a guard building here. There's a normal door, like an iron door, not an umber hole door right here. And this is like offices where there, there are multiple wardens for this prison. Just remember, uh, iron doors are openable with pressure plates or buttons. Yeah. Correct. Um, and some notes about the Umber Hulks. Uh, they operate in shifts. The species is viewed as less developed and less intelligent than other species in the Afridi subsidiary. And guards are paid in meat. So, so th that is the, the fairly detailed information, I suppose, that, uh, that Judas <clears throat> conveyed to matters worse. You get the impression Judas might be trying to escape. He's had some time to think about it. Yeah. yeah. And I guess the um, other facet of that is, you know, maximum security place obviously has the like big important prisoners. But yes. I guess the question is if say Gil is is a big important dude or if he has put himself in there because oh. he's the writer. Yeah, I should I should uh, mention that. Um, <clears throat> these S E V are uh, um V is uh, Vaso, S is Sheedan, and E is Eriberto Conte. Mm -hmm. Gil is not mentioned. So Gil was in some arbitrary part of it. Gil is somewhere else. <laughs> um. Uh. So I really see. Um, and this is Nissa talking. She's just like, so 
we might be able to, we will be able to get in through Judas's cell at the worst case scenario. And then she turns to Cordelia and is like, do you know if you or Weaver know enough to partially fix the zone? I'm not sure if Nissa knows, but Weaver is gone. Yeah, I was going to say, Weaver is literally working for the Solon Empire. Yeah. <laughs> so like... Weaver's been gone for three years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't believe he would betray us like this. Could like this. Yeah. Yeah. Cordelia call him up and be like, hey, quick question. You know how to fix an anti magic zone a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> oh, no reason. Anyway, yeah, th- sorry, like... that wasn't your point, but you, it should be known that Weaver left your all's party immediately after the crash. Betrayer, we're um, killing him. Not, not to join the Empire, but he went after the uh, he went after the um, centrifuge, which was some artifact, and you all haven't heard from him since. All right, I'll allow it. Anyway, um, uh, what were you saying? What was Nissa saying? <laughs> That if we could fix part of the zone, we could definitely uh, smash and grab uh, and go in, fix part of it, and then just teleport everyone out. Everyone? Um, Well, not everyone. Everyone we care about. Okay. Okay. But I guess the question is, fixing a zone takes, like, maximum level. Yeah. I, I, Joe, know that. Nessa does not Yeah, jo- Joe wrote the rules on this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but as Joe a matter has of fact, stupid memory. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, so for listeners at home, we're using a, a weave spinner, uh, like everything that Joe wrote. Uh, Cordelia has access to this now. Um. So I actually know what Cordelia can do, probably better than Tommy does. Probably. <laughs> uh, yeah. but only for this one thing. Um. Because so here's here's the thing, we either need to get someone who can move the blocks. We need to be hyper sneaky. We need to look official, or we need to have a way to like smash and grab. And like off the top of my head, like none of those are great. Well, I, let me. Oh, sorry, if you don't mind, Nissa, let me step in for one second. If only there was some sort of way we could bribe the guards paid in meat. <laughs> if only we had some sort of crewmate that was potentially recently trained in the culinary arts and perhaps two other culinary experts under our employ. We don't need a whole party of weaklings. We just need one weekly, just one to let us in. <laughs> You this is like the cameras uh, there, and these are like just electronics and cameras and stuff. These yeah. are electronic cameras, yes. All right, we need a nuclear device to set off an EMP. <laughs> <laughs> There's Maybe also the classic one too. gets arrested, so they're on the inside. Technique. I, a hundred percent, one trillion percent was thinking about that. Um, where where the big headline is deserter arrested in our own midst in married yeah. subsidiary. But would but would they put I this in the overflow prison? <laughs> See, this is this is what's gonna happen. This is gonna surrender herself to the police, and instead of being put in prison, will be shot and killed <laughs> <Yeah>. summarily. <laughs> oh man. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I should say I think it's a good idea to. <clears throat> do recon and float ideas and stuff like that. But I think it would also be very fun if I, as the DM, do not know your all's exact plan, mm-hmm. which is why I've made that channel that I don't have access to um, for you all to plan that. So see if you can, just for fun, I mean, if you have an idea and want to say it, that's fine. But see if you can not reveal the exact method. To- I, I actually, using what Tommy has said in some of my other ideas, I, I'm starting to get that 12% of a plan. All right. Yeah, me too. I, I got the gears turning a little bit, but. So the idea is you all can talk and recon and, and do the thing in the merits of today if you want during the session. And then intermediarily, you all could talk in the, uh, in the channel. The picto chat. Exactly. So. I'm actually, 
let me pull up the important figure doc because I just got rid of it like a fucking nip shit. Uh, I've got it up if you want me to search for something. I'm going to try... I'm going to look around Merit Subsidiary and see what I can do. I mean, because as much as I love him, uh, universally renowned Chef Priestess Olier is not going to help me get into uh, prison. Is that the Gordon Ramsay guy? Yeah. yeah. He's my well, Gordon Ramsay does do special things where he goes into prisons and teach them skills. So if he is this universe's version of Gordon Ramsay, that would it be an might not. God. All right, fuck it, fine. <laughs> no, I'm just goofing you, dude. Don't trip. I think there's almost no way that that would happen. Yeah, no. Of course do you want not. me to roll a lot? maximum security? Roll, roll AI. Roll. So th- th- what this is representing is you in contact with Croesus. Are you asking him this? I- I'm just like, <laughs> hey. You know, hey, homie, I, get me in the jail. <laughs> no, like I know you've done some some uh, charity stuff. You know, He's teaching people how to cook. Work. Um, have you ever done anything with prisoners? I'm gonna have you roll a d100. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> get wild hey, magic hey, surge on the one, one baby. <laughs> you get a hundred this time. Uh, sixty-four. That's he. He he does not. In fact. Oh, I'm so all right. Like he does Church. charity work, but not in prisons. No, I understand. Marcus prison in Solon's base. Because um, Solon prison is re- is less about reform and is more about punishment. Yeah. Yeah. More about uh, deform if you catch my. It doesn't. Drift. It doesn't vibe with Croesus's like vibe. So like metaton aesthetic. <laughs> um. Wouldn't it be good? Mm. I'm trying to think, because actually, Nissa has a pretty good relationship with the police force on the Merit subsidiary because she has been posing as like one of the mercenary people that's been helping out around there. Yeah. Um, and they think she is still loyal to the Solon Empire. Yes, uh, that's a really good point. Yeah, you 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 have specified that that is a, a thing. <laughs> this is this is not me going. Hmm, can I get away with it? This is an actual canonical thing. No, hey, I police! I'm an undercover series. cop. Put me in the prison. <laughs> <laughs> undercover boss, but it's for, for <laughs> what's that? <laughs> what's that game called? Arrested. I don't remember it. It's like the the two dudes. One of them's an undercover. Oh, cop. oh! I think I know what you're talking about. It came out recently. Not yeah, recently. It's, a, recently. it's the big multiplayer game. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like oh, two brothers um, or something. Oh. A know. way out. A way out. Yeah. That's the one. You're going to way out. <laughs> <laughs> Put me in there, Chief. So I'm going to ask what they know about the Octagon. Um, so are you asking? Like the police on Merid <laughs> and specifically. Um, the police in the Citadel of. What's it called? What's the Merid Citadel? Called? Ice and Steel? Yeah. Know, Ice yes. and Steel, that sounds right. Yes, I <clears throat> remember it. It's um, like a metal song. <laughs> I was going to ask if they could put in a good word because it would be, you know, good for me as kind of like this folk hero person. And I'm going to bring uh, Safo Suleiman in on this to work for this. There's a PR person. Yeah, I can't believe I have enough brain cells to do this. Or I'm going to be like, wouldn't it be great to to have the local hero kind of go in and, and see the the scourges that are in there and, and see, you know, what all can be done. You know, see the lowest of the lows. This is really Nissa's right. big plan to get into the important figures. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everyone will know the my name. Game. <laughs> Um, sorry, one sec. I am finding relevant characters. <clears throat> I'm remembering which of the Sappho's this is. Suleiman. The uh, PR one. Yeah, PR her one. her dad owns like a rip-off jewelry business on the moon. And she was... <laughs> right, one sec. Not Sappho Callistus, the other one. The other, the other. <laughs> I have the both in the party. <laughs> um... Sorry, one sec. 
Okay, there she is. I'm. Uh, I'm gonna name every gonna pirate I make for Cody right. Sappho. Just yeah, I guess you could say that uh, this is Sappho and this is her friend. <laughs> Sorry, never mind. No, I got it. I just didn't want to reward it with laughter. You should have rewarded it. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm I'm back on the page. So you you have you all have got into the Citadel of Ice and Steel. And surprisingly, I, I'm gonna backtrack just for a second and then we'll get back to this conversation. Um pretty much right when you all land. So the way that the sectors of elemental blah, 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 air, fire, water, earth work is they're not planets and there aren't planets in them. There are kind of masses of things like water or earth or kind of volcano-y things, uh, not like in balls, but kind of in strands and chunks like a big soup. Um, they're the, the places where the elemental energy is, is high and the deities don't travel there because they have a strong reaction to it. Um, so you, you, you get to the, the married one where there's a lot of water and stuff and you can uh, you land in the citadel of ice and steel, which is a city, more than a citadel. Are, are citadel cities? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, there's a citadel of Adbar, which is a dwarven city. Science still doesn't know. So uh, question science still can't answer. Th 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 there is like land there, so it's still accessible to people. Like maybe historically a citadel, but like the city grew up around it and it's still called a citadel. I can see that happening in several instances. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that does make sense. Like a like um there's a Lord of the Rings one like that, I think. Mm -hmm. Um so there is some land for people to walk around on, a place to land your ship. Um and you all get out, and fairly soon after you get out. Uh, a few people run up to Jajin, of all people, and they're, they're asking for her autograph. You all can't hear exactly because you all are getting out of different ships, but she seems to kind of surprisingly like go along with it and kind of walk off with them, and she, she kind of waves to you all. <laughs> you, you can't disrespect your fans. Very Part true. of my plans involve Jajin, so this is <laughs> going to be... <laughs> this is going to be fun. Unlucky. I, I, we, I don't need Jajin right now. I will need Jajin in the future. Yeah, she'll be back. Like, she's not, like, going to spend the night. Like, she's... <laughs> she is murdered by crazed fans. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you, you, you and Sappho and Callisto, too, or just Sappho? Um, Callisto might join. All right, Callisto's coming. Um, Callisto also has a good enough reputation. You all go to, like, the police... Station headquarters, police, police zone. headquarters. Police. Yeah, there's a word for it. Police headquarters, police station. Police station. Well, police okay. station is the smaller ones, headquarters is the larger. Headquarters is the... Thank you. You all go to the police headquarters, <laughs> and you all yes, get you me. and then we go back into this conversation. And so, so you get in there, two cops are arguing about whether it's called a headquarters or station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The cops are trying to rename it. Yeah. <laughs> so my main idea is that, you know, we could, you know, kind of drum up some more about it and, and go that, you know, we're taking on crime. We're, you know, seeing who all's in there. And as a matter of fact, I mean, you know, I work with uh, a, a very famous uh, Jollywood actor, um, we could even shoot some propaganda or, well, you know, just have us roughing up a few inmates, stuff like that. Um, so you're talking to two uh, water genies, I suppose. Yeah. That makes sense, right? I'm talking to my grandfather secretly. <laughs> Maybe. Um, they, they, uh, Okay, so this, sorry, one sec, I'm loading in my head, generating it. I guess one of them probably goes, Jollywood's a U.S. place. Where, where was Solon? Good point, good point. I know, I, I know, but, you know, you got to gain both sides. If you can, you know, actually earn a little bit of dime on uh, the money for each side, doesn't it, doesn't it work out well? No, where was Solon? Unless they're defecting, we don't care. The other, the other cop 
has a similar <clears throat> like a similar dubious kind of look he's, he's crossing his arms at you okay so, uh, say here here's what i'll do you know we can make something of a a trade you know we'll make a you know, i kill the soul the u.s actor for so long no so you know i get us a nice shot of me you know taking in this uh, actor and you know going in and kind of beating up these uh criminals and, and she has to like force herself to be vitriolic about it and then in, you know my turn i guess they get a nice shot and they get to say oh see we can work with other people it's fine but you know we get that nice dissemination of the propaganda how's that sound well deception with advantage because uh sappho is next to you and it seems she seems trustworthy all right sappho's doing like finger guns but like very yeah. very convincing finger guns and, uh dirty 20 not natural yeah. okay they, they they do believe you and you have it makes sense with the reputation you've established. Um, and so I guess the, these, these two guys at the kind of the front, the front office, I suppose, aren't the ones to make the call, but mm -hmm. they set you up with uh, someone with a little more authority. And I, yeah, I think, it, I think it, it goes through eventually, unless you want to role play out that scene. No, I, I'm, I I have uh, I I've risked enough of us potentially <laughs> fucking it up. Um, but yeah, I do have my my big brain plan. Okay. So what we've just set up, just to make sure that I'm clear, is that the empire is going to send Nissa in. Yes. With Jajin. Yes. And you all are supposedly filming something. Yes. We're filming pro-Solon propaganda. Being like, haha, the prisoners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, look at these low lives. Hear me out. Propaganda goes both ways. In every war like ever, you always drop shit over the enemy country to say, this is how this is going. It would make sense if you took a video and said, these are the people that we're supposed to be supporting and they're these deplorable criminals. Look, they put them in the same place as Judas the Betrayer. Is this really who we want to support? Should we trust the US? I mean, like that seems like it'd be a fairly convincing reason. Oh, that's Take that a back point. And just sort of try to sway the public. I mean, you could say, obviously, I mean, this is just, <laughs> it's a fabrication, but like the argument could be try to sway the opinion of Jollywood such that you could turn it into a tool for the Solon Empire. Hmm. And I which, mean, which is what we're like advertising. Right, as, right. Which and is what not bureaucrat what we're doing. would love that. Yeah. <laughs> like <clears throat> being part of this big machine, you know, I think it's a. And I, I guess mean, the big question would Jajin be, <laughs> could be down with a, the That plan. is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so. I have a compelling enough. I, I believe I could convince Jajin <clears throat> to do this, partially because I think. Um, so I think the story we can tell, like the Solon people, is like, you know, we're gonna film all this, and if we show it, you know, if we if we make it look good, you know, make it respectable, make it just subtle enough that either Jollywood has to accept it, or if they don't, I mean, we can just outright say they are suppressing you know, information, they are lying to you. So uh, I guess another big thing is you convince those cops to like bring this proposition to their higher ups Would their higher ups demand more the, from the, the Jollywood yes, actor to go the, ahead the, with this, it. This is what I was about to bring up. The higher ups like the idea mm -hmm. of you doing this Nissa, but they want to interview Jajin. Oh, fuck. Um, they might want an official defection <laughs> from Jajin. Uh, they can do this in a neutral, uh, it's someplace in the unclaimed lands or a uh, unclaimed like sect, like zone sector in the astral plane. Um, um, and again, right now, Jajin is inaccessible, but that is their condition that Jajin passes an interview with them. So like I imagine this interview would be one of the first things next session. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, hold on. 
How many and this wouldn't be with be? the cops. This would be with like the some propaganda people and so on. I'm sure there's someone in the important figures doc. Uh, Chris and I can find. Mm -hmm. right. but, so... but someone or some two people, right? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, if push comes to shove, Funk, can you cast this guy's person? <laughs> I was looking up. I was looking up polymorph. Oh my god! <laughs> you all are smart. Wait, so, so you can just do this without Jason? Yeah. No, no, no. What I'm saying, hey, if we if we can find a way to make it work without having to wait, they've never seen Jason. Can't I? Any of you just be Jason? <laughs> they, they know what Jason looks like. like. Well, it, it depends. They, yeah, they would does, do like a true. background search. And also, Jason's a semi-famous actor. Yes, I'm very. Sure they're like very aware true. of what they look like. I could also temporarily thrall somebody. Mm. That's temporary. But then well, at the end, it's they're temporary like, I've been thralled. It's temporary assume... until they break the curse or I use it on someone else. It doesn't just stop. Oh. Yeah. I guess it's, in like it's one the of the three warlock. weeks or whatever, do they break the curse? No, it has to be. It you, you don't even get a roll against it. If you're incapacitated and I make you a thrall, then you're stuck mm -hmm. in it. It's one of the... Uh, Okay. Great old one warlock features. Cool. It's, yeah. So, so that, I that's what you I was... all are having this planning back on the ships, like far away from the ears of the police. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're, we're be doing a bad it look. on the headquarters. <laughs> I'm um, just saying it right in front of them. Yeah, I can just you know I'm turn one of them into a zombie that works for me. <laughs> no. But how do you know it's just going to be one representative? Well, that's the thing. <laughs> and like, well, they have guards, which they probably will. That's, that, that's why I was asking if it was going to be one person or more. <laughs> well, one representative, not just one person in that party. True. That's the assumption. Oh, no. How, what a shame that everyone else in the party died of sudden heart attack. <laughs> Sheer heart attack strikes again. All right. So it seems like the beginnings of a plan have begun. Have start oh, holy shit. It seems like the beginnings nice of the flow, plan of form. My way with words is incredible. <laughs> um did anyone else have other ideas or also still Nissa have any other ideas for beginning to do this recon? Funk got the uh schematics from the worst man in the galaxy. Nissa uh got you all a potential way in, very dependent on Jajin. Um Passing this criminal background this check. Criminal thing, which we can do at the beginning of, of next session. Uh, did you have any immediate ideas, Cordelia? Uh, no, truthfully, not really. I was just going to help out with everybody else's Yeah, ideas. yeah, yeah, that's valid. I was just going to throw Eldritch Blasts. They yeah, I was going to fucking send it. <laughs> I'm changing all my invocations to so let me shoot them from a mile away, and I'm <laughs> sending it. <laughs> uh, did you, you, you or um, I don't know if I want to remind you of something that might be helpful or not. No, I'll, I'll let you figure it out if it's a thing. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I, I won't give you a hint on that. But yeah, no, never mind, I'm not. Um, any other plans before you all? I have a bunch of stuff that I don't want Finn to know. Okay, <laughs> okay, yeah, you all can so talk I, about it that in the chat. So I guess, Cody, do you have anything else? Oh, yeah. Swank have any other ideas? Uh, I guess just well, well, just well, they're doing that. Do I do I have any like boots on the ground here? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Yeah, sh surely you you have some <clears throat> in the Merit subsidiary. Yeah. Um, do you mean this particular like uh, city? I mean, someone that I can like go meet with like face to face. To sort of like, like see if they've got anything, or like to set up a bit of a, a plan for such. Sure. Uh, yeah. Real quick, let me reread the Citadel of a uh, Ice of Steel and come up with what this rando's profession is. Oh, good idea, Chris. Um, where is it? Um. Yeah, I'm also doing it. Maybe a tax collector. Sure. Uh, yeah. So some yeah, tax collector. One more as well. Yeah, the thing with having such a big world, 
with that is mostly in someone else's mind is <laughs> reading while theme being, which is not ideal, but. The Invisible College is here. Is it? That's cool as shit. Yeah. I thought the Invisible we, College was the uh, air, was the wind place. Yeah, it is. Oh, am I looking at the wrong? Oh, it's called the Citadel of 10,000 Pearls. Oh, yeah, we're in the wrong place. <laughs> you were actually in the Citadel of 10,000 Pearls. And we always have been. Yes, exactly. Yes. Uh, Through one of If only you could college. edit this, you could do like a very poor, like delete the audio whenever it said yeah. Citadel of Ice Field. <laughs> Citadel of 10,000 doors or pearls. <laughs> 10,000 doors. What is this fucking monster ink? Fuck yeah. <laughs> See, I'm going to say it's a tax collector. Or, sure. Yeah. So it's the you, auditor. You can uh, you can meet up with them. Uh, you, so you, you schedule a meetup via texting, I suppose. <laughs> do you have any other method? I mean, how, how do people contact each other over distances in this world? Phone. Cell phone, yeah. Like, yeah, so like I, I text him or call him or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna say he's an ice method, which cool. are essentially like imps but ice element. Yes, I'm reading the description. Did he call him? Yeah, like I, I call him to like set up a meeting, like face to face if he's free. How annoying or not annoying should this tax collector's voice be? Like, hello, friend. How are you? That's perfect. This, yes. is, this, is, this, is, uh, this is your world. Yes. So now. Is this funk? You Fox know it, baby. Hi, buddy. Oh, you know, I'm doing good. Wondering if you wanted to, like, like have, have a little face-to-face meetup, like, soon. Yeah, I do. I'm down for that. Right after I don't know, collect. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you, 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 it was so you, 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 you hear like coins clinking in the background. <laughs> How do I kill Chris? <laughs> Gun. <laughs> well, you, don't like this ta- you don't like this tax collector? Yeah, no, nah, not really. He's not my favorite <laughs> character we've had. Right, right. Why don't you like him? Uh, I, uh, taxation is theft. I'm going full libertarian. Re- <laughs> That so you all just got me on this aside. <laughs> <laughs> and we uh we can we can teleport in time to that meetup. It's uh it's not that far away, so these can be happening uh concurrently. Um he's drinking a venti triple cappuccino when you get there. In a park. Yes. In a water park. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, it, it will be left up to the listener to determine if that means it is a like normal park that is water themed or if it is a water park. He is like flipping coins into the kiddie pool and seeing the kids like scramble to catch them. <laughs> now it is revealed. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you, you hey, find buddy. This guy there. Hey, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> You know, oh, some people say they hate my voice. What's your opinion on it? Chris, Chris looks yeah, what, in the audience. What, what did Kimura say about Elliot's voice? Like, I just hate it. <laughs> like, every time she talks, it makes me mad. But, you know, yeah, I, that was something she said. I mean, it's fine. I, you know, I don't know if you'll be, you'd believe it, but <clears throat> quite a lot of people I interact with end up having kind of dumb voices for some reason. Uh, no weird. Yeah. What do they have stupid voices like this? <laughs> That's the worst voice I've ever heard. Hello, Mario. Yeah, God, imagine having that voice. It's a terrible voice. Yeah, so I'm wondering, like, Want to want to meet? You know, have a nice face to face. See if you have any uh any word on the street about about some things. First wow. of all, no, know anything useful about about the octagon or yeah. or the city of brass in general? Um, roll, uh, Chris, roll. Um, 
Okay. I guess. What's a general knowledge thing like history? History, just probably. roll intelligence. Roll history, oh, roll yeah, history, 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 intelligence history, probably will work. Right? Roll intelligence. Um, your modifier can be whatever you think makes sense. I'll say plus two. He can he can do percentages. Um, eighteen. Cool. Okay. Cool. Um, you know the general like workings of it somehow. Um, I don't think you know much more. <clears throat> I don't think you have much more to answer the question with than what Funk has already learned through Judas's uh, description. Yeah. Maybe some extra emphasis on the Umberhawks, like just, yeah, they sure, don't have yeah. money. They, they just care about meat. Sure, yeah. Uh -huh. And also, the other thing was, uh, how, do you know the like word on the street how how the people in the in the fire fire world city of brass and all that feel about being allied with Solon like they they good about it they not they don't really care. Uh, the Freudians are definitely on I don't know about the the lower cast the uh, the uh, fire nerds the fire nerds definitely don't like it. Oh, you oh. also know about the uh, fire elementals, uh, that they are pretty much okay with it, although yeah. they are definitely the lower class and they are strictly <clears throat> controlled. It's so, like fire newts don't yeah. like it and magma methods is just not known because people don't know that much about the magma methods. Mm -hmm. But like, they, they like it or they don't particularly mind. They mm. are content with the situation. Yeah. All right, because I'm, I'm still one trying to figure out how feasible it is to like, assuming success, be like, hey, the 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 fire people failed the Solon Empire. Try and get Solon pissed at them, and then swoop in like, hey, you know, you Solon's pretty mad. The pirates could like help protection. We don't get mad. You, you do know that the Afridi in particular have kind of like explosive <laughs> emotions. Like they get, they get very emotional very quickly, the Afridi. But, uh, and also like form strong bonds. If they have a strong bond with the Empire, it would probably take a lot to get the Afridi in particular to get upset with it. But they're definitely lower downs in the Afridi society, like the fire newts that could potentially be influenced. All right, yeah, because I'm I'm thinking between PR and like using my information network to be a disinformation network. Uh -huh. if, I, if I could start spreading lies to to, to spark <laughs> spark tensions. Uh -huh. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, but good good talking to you, man. Nice yeah, nice man. seeing you. I'll, I'll let you get back to collecting. All right. And distributing. <laughs> Flicks another coin at a child. Hits him right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. It's what us tax collectors do. <laughs> and that's the uh, that's the end of this this conversation that you have with uh, yeah. our unnamed our unnamed tax the collector. Man, the man with the soothing suave voice. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. as he shall be known. Um, His name actually is Suave. No, I've made it canon. Solid. Uh, I think we're all good for this recon bit. Uh, next up, at the begin beginning of next session, well, first of all, does anyone have any other ideas that have come to them? Uh, none, none that I want to ask now. OK. Yeah, and remember, there is that chat that I can't see at the moment. I'll look at it after the mission is done because I'll be curious, but at the moment I cannot see the chat where you all can plan the details of the uh, heist-esque situation, of the prison break. And then of course I, I can see that chat as well. Yeah, yeah, Chris can see that chat. Um, but yeah, ne next up, the beginning of next session, Jajin has an interview. And the most have volunteered <laughs> to have an interview with a representative from the Solon Empire. So we'll see, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> and uh, right. 
we will join you all next week next week on galactic gazette tales from the ussw all right thumbs I found the names of the people who did that. That's uh, Silvio Centimore on the drums, Nina Redbow on cello, and Johan Rampon on the flute. So thank you all for recording that for me. I guess I did pay you money, but still, thank you. <laughs> money can be exchanged for goods and services. Indeed. Um, one last thing. Sure. Uh, because it did not get shown uh, to the whole group in full. I'm going to share art that I had commissioned for uh, oh, Nissa. Uh, is it? OK, yeah, we can see it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So very different from what she looked like uh, pre time skip. Um, and this is the same guy that uh, Cody commissioned for um, Funk. Um, oh, god, I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Uh, Maycom or something? Macom. Yeah. Macom. I knew it started with an M. Um, very fair rates. Uh, this cost about like $40, um, which like I'm super pleased with. I love the um, design on the Darbuka. That's like intricate. Yeah, that's yeah. what I was looking at. I think that's my favorite part, the drum patterning. And that Trident has some cool texturing too. Yeah, it's, it's it is insanely well done. Um, so yeah, that there there's art um, for for you all to behold. Indeed. All right, we will see you all next week, dear viewers. All right. Um, take care. Peace.